trying to check out this mob crush to see if this is actually working i've been having issues with it and i'm hoping that this will work so i'm doing well i think on the facebook i mean the youtube side of things but it doesn't appear to be working on the facebook side so maybe what i'll do Okay, there we go. I see it. I'm now streaming on Facebook as well as YouTube. Um, and what I'm going to do is just get this shared and and then I'll get going from there. Yeah, this is my first time actually getting this to work. Um, since... Uh, since uh, Procreate has changed the way that they stream, actually they get, they eliminated it. So I just wanted to make sure that I worked out the kinks on this. Um, currently using Mob Crush um, in the in the iPad uh, screen viewer. So we'll see how this works. Anyway, uh, today I was, I was working on some sketches earlier. And I decided that I'd like to go ahead and try to do some some live sketching just to get back in the habit of it. It's been quite a while. Uh, it's been several months since I've done that. And again, that's because the software has changed. So let me get to sketching a little bit. Uh, so anyway, not really sure what I was going to work on. I was working on some character design for a story that I've been thinking about for quite some time. However... Uh, writing the story has been a kind of hitch for me because I don't like to write so much. But anyway, so what I'll do is, is really just work on some different character designs for the main character. And I think once I start developing some of that out more, uh, I'll figure out exactly what the story is going to be. I, I actually, I made a story, but it wasn't as, as, um as lively as I'd hoped. Uh, it was more or less a, a teaching type story, uh, but I'd been thinking about it and I wanted to push the creative bounds around it. So that's uh, what I'm going to do is just really focus on that side of it. Uh, uh, right now, uh, I'm just thinking about style, styling that I want for it. Because um, I'm thinking, you know, keeping it cartoonish um more like um sitcom network cartoon um i can't even think of any names of cartoons right now uh but but just keeping it in that vein keeping it simple um and and really work on the creativity that's in it as opposed to making it highly detailed and of course the simple cartoons are not as simple as you think a lot of people see it as like, oh, the simple lines, but yeah, they're pretty complex in terms of the way they do the production and all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'll see if anybody comes on as I continue on with this. Oops, let me see if I can... Anyway, I really typically listen to music when I'm doing this. But I don't even know if Facebook will or YouTube will just stop my stream altogether if I start putting some music behind it. So all I'm doing right now is just is just sketching and doodling, um, and I usually just just do a variety of these uh, just to get going. Uh, right now I have nothing in mind, so I'm just just scribbling. And once I start deciding on the characteristics and those kinds of things, then then it really starts to take shape. Sometimes when I draw, I have a game plan in mind if I'm doing... Hey, what's up, Wakita? Um, if I'm doing... Um, like, uh, work for somebody else, then, then, of course, I already have a brief of what I'm going to do. Uh, but when I'm spitballing it, yeah, I just 
I just make it up as I go. Um, and maybe I'll transition out of this and focus on my my daily post. Um, and usually for that, I'll sometimes look up reference like street streetwear and street gear. So I may do that. Let's see. Hold on one second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what I'm doing right now is just looking on uh, my computer as I stream this. There we go. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. So anyway, right now, uh, like I said, just just doodling. Um, and I'm thinking about keeping the character in shorts because I wear shorts all the time. Again, just just thinking of some simple designs, um, and then I'll start trying to figure out exactly what the character does, and start designing around that. So as you can see, I keep I, I usually keep my sketches pretty loose. Um, my keep it scribbly like, and I, I tend to do this for most of the drawings I do, whether they be live, whether they be uh, photo realistic or not. I'll try to get sketches and sometimes I'll get even more scribbly than this anyway one of the things I was thinking about before I started sketching that I was thinking about like like I mentioned playing some music and with that I was wondering you know because like I've had video stopped before but I'm thinking that you know why don't these streaming services uh, just pay the royalties for us since they're utilizing our content anyway. Uh, maybe that's something that's being done now, but I don't know. Because it's streaming on their platforms. Uh, they're making all the money from it. So, why don't they revenue share with the musicians so that more people, one, will play their music, and two, they'll get more streams and more hits on their on their videos which again drives their revenue because they can sell ads against it and those kinds of things but anyway that's the kind of stuff I think about randomly rather so again the the story I was thinking about uh, was a kid's story um, and again all I'm gonna do right now is just come up with just different sketches of what this kid could look like. Um, the idea I had was was based around a little boy. Um, I'd come up with some ideas for a little boy uh, story uh, years ago. Uh, I was calling it Quentin's Got a Calling. But I don't know, I just just wanted to do some exploration because sometimes you can stop your ideation too short and the ideas that you come up with uh, may be stifled because you haven't put enough effort into it. So all I'm doing again is just randomly sketching. this is right here is just blocking out shapes blocking out shapes just so I can get the general idea out and then I can always go back and add detail uh, which is typically what I do yeah I should see if mobstream can stream to Instagram Yep, still using the Procreate app. Uh, like for me, I've tried using some of the other apps on the iPad, uh, but Procreate for me is pretty intuitive. Uh, I've been using it for quite some time, and I think it's intuitive because I put the effort into learning it. 
Um, but yeah, I love it. Uh, I tried Affinity, uh, but it just didn't have the feel that for me. And all I'm doing right now is that I'm erasing. Uh, sometimes, like just just to really trying to push some of the designs. And I'll scrap a, a sketch in a heartbeat. So, right now I'm just letting you guys into my process in terms of like quick sketching. Uh, Cause for me the goal is just to, really right now is just shape exploration. Just trying to figure that out. Uh, let me know if this is showing up pretty good for you guys. Cause I, I don't know. And I don't know when you're seeing it. So, like I said, this is my first time actually utilizing my crush. I've been trying to figure it out for some time, and I finally understood it more today. So, okay, thanks. because ironically I can't see anything on my screen so I don't know how this is working out on the on Facebook rather but I'm streaming to, to YouTube as well but I don't really have any presence on YouTube as of yet I'm trying to work on that but right now I'm just working on this this supposes and some sketches for a potential kid. It, it's all kind of the same kid, but just really figuring out the the look and feel that I like of it. As you can see, I was zooming in and out. I was freezing up off and on. Okay, thanks for letting me know that because I can't tell. Uh, that's another thing with streaming. Um, is since it's not necessarily a direct stream. Um it's by proxy oops i was wiping my screen off and so i can't tell how it's working out so thanks for the feedback um and again just right now just working on character um So I have no story in mind. So again, I'm just working on different poses, making making up some scenarios for the poses as I go. And he's holding. All right. One of the things that, that I've just practiced doing over the years, uh, which is actually how I got started drawing on online again, is just getting used to not being perfect and letting people see my process and not worrying about if I mess up and those kinds of things. Um, because the important part of it for me is just making sure that one I just get started and because you can always clean up later and two just by doing the work you'll come up with ideas you wouldn't have had before anyway so not going for masterpiece just going for thought ideation right now uh, again maybe this is Maybe he's like exploring something. 
And plus, once I get the idea for the character down, then I can really start pushing the designs more. Um, but right now, it's, it's just super loose. Is it still choppy right now? I can't tell. But like I said, I can't even see it on my screen. So let me go back and see if I can actually view it. Okay. Let's see that it's showing up. I think. Yeah, Facebook is so wonky, I can't even tell. So I just have to trust the feedback I'm getting. See, let me try to think of some, some other design. Like I said, like I, said I like doing shapes. Just really working around shapes and also shapes help in terms of being able to turn the character in space. So once you understand the shape, the shape of the character, and you can start manipulating them. Uh, at this point is just is just scribbling uh, I don't really worry about the proportions as much at this stage is just really just exploration like right now I'm not liking any of these designs but that's why I'm trying to bang them out as fast as possible and it's really just getting my hand loose if you can if you can see I, I can't tell if it's showing up or not but uh, my, my, my movements are really quick and sketchy uh, just so I can get just get my, my hand loosened up and then the more loose my hand gets uh, the better my shapes are so I don't really care about proportions I, I worry about that in cleanup uh, I had talked about it a little bit um, when I was discussing uh, when I made up the coin of magazine characters if you saw some of my earlier sketches I may go to them just so you can see uh, they look nothing like the end result and and for me the goal with these like I said is just ideation getting the idea out so think about this as these are like thumbnail sketches for me and so when I think about that uh, I just just again just to get the idea out get it banged out and then I can start refining it from there so proportions uh, not not necessarily a big deal for me at this point point. and sometimes uh, working on the character design uh, I'll just start drawing other stuff uh, just to get my mind going and proportions I'm trying to keep like in terms of shape language I'm trying to keep this one more like I said shape oriented and less uh, human proportion like in terms of realistic proportions um, so right now just again just working through some ideas sometimes uh, just coming up with like uh, the, the type of clothes or whatever they'll wear it it helps to make up other ideas so you get on like a coat and some boots
Let me get some shorts. Chantel looks a little older because the proportions are a little different. So. Just really trying to get the idea out. So, get on a different kind of fit. Get on a scarf, boots, and some shorts. What kind of climate that is, I have no idea. But it's just what he's wearing today. And just give him some asymmetry here by just adding up a pocket square. And again, if I start running out of ideas, and I'll just go on the internet and just start looking up street clothes. Uh, sometimes I can't think of any clothes because I wear pretty much t-shirts and shorts all the time, so I'm not a fashion guy. So I'll do some some scrolling online just to see what other people wear. And again, it's just just all about getting ideas out. thinking about poses or maybe he's jumping I'm just trying to think of what that'll look like uh, right now I'm not looking at any references so and so I'll just sketch it out and then if I really want to figure out what the body movements look like or the body angles then I'll look up some references just to get an idea of how it should look uh, realistically in terms of perspective just to get an idea on perspective so that's one thing when I when I started drawing again recently because it's been years uh, I, it was like probably almost a eight year gap from when I just stopped drawing altogether and so when I started back, I would I would just draw, and I didn't realize that other artists actually use references for their drawings. I thought they were just making everything up out of their head. I mean, of course, it's their skill set, but I thought that they would like they just knew anatomy and never looked at anything. So, so I'm trying to get back and trying to develop the habit of actually looking at references. Uh, because most of the time, especially when I used to go on live streams uh, before, I would never, I never looked up anything. I just drew from, just scribble, kind of like I'm scribbling now, and didn't have any references in mind. And so, so I, I've been studying like certain things. So in terms of proportion, if he's if he was to be more realistic, then his elbow and his his uh, from his elbow to his for to his wrist and from his elbow to his shoulder would be equidistant just so you know and the hardest thing for me sometimes to draw is just simple stuff that's why I admire people that do cartoons because they do so much with very little little work Uh, for me, it's just, it just depends, man. Like right now, I don't see anything. I just sketch. Uh, I have ideas like, okay, let me do this pose and let's see what, what can come out of this pose. Uh, other times I'll have an idea of what I'm shooting for and then I'll draw it till I, till it looks the way I want it to. Uh, I don't necessarily have the exact image in mind because that's the purpose of the ideation for me um, 
but as you can see like i'm super super loose um i mean you'll i'll watch some other artists online and they'll do like sketching and everything that they every line they make looks like it's in on purpose and i'm like man these cats are just too good uh but for me i'm super loose and scribbly um Um, cause if I, like I said, I made live stream, uh, me taking a piece from this phase all the way to polish rendering, just so you could see exactly what that looks like for me, how I go about doing it. Uh, cause you'll be able to see my screen, like when I click on the colors and all those things, and you'll see how I just go about slowly piecing everything together. And as you can see, the more I, the more I do it, the the more I draw, then the more loose everything becomes. The more my shapes get get a little better, um, my drawings get a little more readable. At least for other people, I mean, I, I know what I'm I'm going after. Um, and again, it's just. Is really just working on just the concept, and again, I'm right now. I'm just drawing, uh, thinking of concept of a little boy. I have some other sketches of them already, and I may go back to those as reference because I spent a little more time on those. Um, but I was like, maybe I'll just do some live ideation, um, and I actually should be looking at some reference right now, just as I'm thinking about how to draw them, how to make them appealing. That kind of stuff. So, I'm thinking like little kids. is their proportions are a lot different than adults. I don't really draw little kids a lot. So, It's this phase uh, where you can mess up and and not really worry about it because you know it's, it's not going to be, well typically it's not anything anybody else is going to see, but since I'm live streaming you obviously see it, uh, but it's this phase that I try to not care about anything just so... I can try new possibilities that I no normally wouldn't explore. And the good thing about drawing digitally is you have so much at your disposal. What's up, B? It's my brother watching. But you have so much at your disposal that you can work with that is a lot easier to to just try new things that you normally haven't tried before. I always like to give them curly hair just so you know give a hint of their ethnicity. Uh, another thing, uh, speaking of which, uh, another thing I want to start working on more, draw more cat like creatures. I really don't draw a lot of creatures. So, so I was going to start working on that just to show range of ideas. Um, just because. And again, exploring these just 
really about the shapes. Oh yeah, I love cartoon work. I prefer cartoon work over anything else, actually. That's why I, the majority of my drawings are around, kind of look that way. Uh, and actually, most of the projects I take on are cartoon related uh, because cartoons are fun. They're fun to do. Uh, just scribbling like this, um, I could do this all day, which is what I do. Um, and so I, I definitely love that. And which, which is funny is when I was in school, I went to school for graphic design and I had an art teacher and like, I used to love realism, like, like, uh, photo realism. And now you got dudes that do hyper realism. I used to love that, that type of work. I used to like study those artists all the time. And, and then it was just literally some switch when I just started like paying attention to the cartoons. I started paying attention. Of course, I've always loved cartoons, but it was just something, you know, the the whole picture tells can tell a thousand words and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, watching cartoons made me realize that man, if a picture can tell a thousand words, then then an animation can tell millions, right? So that's the way I looked at it. And from then on, this is really where my interest started being. Uh, one thing about the, digi the digital side of stuff, we saw that Mark is... Sometimes when I try to move my canvas around, because I have a screen protector on it, so it it marks up everything. So you, you may see like a random mark like that or something. And that's because I'm touching my screen and trying to zoom in sometimes. And it'll just do that. And plus, if you see, I'll, I'll build up shapes. And that's one thing that, that I've been getting in the habit of. Is building up shapes and you start seeing everything in shapes and it makes it easier to draw uh, sometimes I'll just scribble like that just to figure out like the dimension or draw like ovals for the cylinder just to make sure that there's depth in whatever I draw right now I'm not necessarily so much worried about it uh, but sometimes I'll just do it on top of, of what I'm doing uh, I got got them grabbing a rock over here uh, maybe I'll change his expression a little bit like he's looking at somebody like they're trying to do something and he's he's thinking how he's gonna get out of the situation so yeah exactly definitely uh, which is what I talked about earlier Lamont so is that once if you do more shape stuff, then you understand the volume in space. Uh, my man Lamont does animation, uh, so he does this way more than I do. But one of the things that, that I've really been focused on in terms of the storytelling side, uh, the, like Bilal was asking, is is really getting in the habit of drawing all the time so that that I can at least tinker with the idea of doing animation. I'm just tinkering with it because before I used to draw, I, I couldn't see how anybody could do animation because of how much work goes into it. Uh, and animating, the cast that do animation, those are some of your best. No, you're good, bro. <laughs> Uh, cast that do animation, man, those are some of your, your best artists, uh, which people don't really even realize uh, because they draw so much that that those cats, man, they're monsters. It, it may not seem like it because the stuff that they draw looks simple, but yeah, those cats are beasts. So I have a, I have huge admiration for animators and storytellers. Again, gotta give them some shorts. Maybe, maybe I'll give some other kids some pants or something, or a spacesuit or something. But 
just just thinking of this the simplistic side and maybe I'll add more stuff to it so just trying to make him looks like okay because one of the concepts of the story that that I was thinking about was kids dealing with bullies and those kinds of things um, there, there are a lot of things that address that stuff so I'm trying to expand my mind on the type of story I want to tell uh, whoops see there's another one of those marks and where I want to go with it so maybe it's I don't know I thought about some plot twists and things like that with the story but that's that's more of an involved story as opposed to a, a normal picture book so again right now my ideas are just all over the place just really fine-tuning what I want to do and how I want to do it but in the meantime I shall just keep drawing This kid like a big lollipop head. Solid body. And then I always have to at least draw somebody in a in a hoodie at least one point, so I might as well make it now. So like I said, another thing for me is just like going back to the the search for clothing because I'll draw the same clothing over and over just because that's type stuff I like and I try to switch it up to where and again these are just guidelines that I draw just so I can keep an idea of what the depth is like uh, or how their heads turned And for some reason, I like the concept of shorts and like bulky, a bulky top, like a jacket or something. Even though I don't do that, it just is interesting to me that you could be warm down low and cold up top. I'm gonna draw a different set of eyes here. The thing that also I like about cartooning is it has its own set of rules. And so it's so wide open in terms of the stuff you can do, the stuff you can make. And there are no guidelines around it uh, other than if you're doing a, cartoon, a book or animation and, you know, other than keeping it to model. But outside of that, there's really no guidelines around it uh, you create all the rules you create the world you create what's supposed to work and what's not so you have a lot of leeway and so uh, i think the bigger picture is just getting it out getting the story out getting the concept out getting the idea out and even if your artwork is not the best People will value the storyline of it and the, the feelings that, that you convey. Everything doesn't have to be Disney pretty, and but I, I do love Disney movies, by the way. Let's see, I'm trying to think of a different kind of, yeah, maybe... crisscross type braids or something and all of these details I would work out if I decided to pursue the character design a little bit further because my original character was bald little kid with, with no hair mm -hmm. I'm get my glasses I'll switch the color Let me think about some glasses 
Actually, you know what? I'll get an accessories on a different layer just in case I decide to do something with this one. Some black, some black rims. Another good thing that, that I usually like adding other colors is I can really work on the accessories a little more without messing up the original drawing. Sometimes you want you may like the character and it's like, okay, I like this shape, I like the shapes of him. Let me try something else, right? And then if you do too much on on the same layer, then you know, you gotta draw it over, which is one of the reasons I'm not an animator, because if I can avoid drawing something over and over, I will. But on the other hand, sometimes I'll do it just to practice the, the process of drawing. It's hard getting rid of those computer computer ideas. That's, that's the reason I like software, so you can just copy and paste stuff as opposed to having to do it repeatedly over and over. Or you can automate tasks. So, so it's... So I gotta change my mentality sometimes. And a lot of this stuff may not look like anything, but I can read it. I can read the shapes that I'm going after. Okay, so we got that. I'll switch my color back. Um, and again, just just ideating on different concepts of what this kid could look like. Because in my mind, he's a smaller kid. Uh, and so that's why the body is shaped the way it is. I'm not making him look like a big kid. Because, uh, again, in this world, I was thinking about the concept of bullies and that kind of stuff. And so, I wanted to keep his, his frame kind of petite, so to speak. Funny thing is, it probably look nothing like any of these sketches, because the sketches I've done so before this, he looks nothing like it. So, I'm trying to figure out, I'm give him a hat. Like stuff like like references. Like right now, this in my mind, this is what a hat looks like. But I'll look at a reference and just make sure that it's lining up. Just because sometimes what's in your, your mind is not what something is. Um, so again, just for right now, I'll add that and I'll clean him up later. funny after I did that it made me think about the little kid on uh, Stranger Things even though that wasn't my intent I'm just trying to switch his hair up so uh, that actually makes me want to give him different eyeballs make him a little bigger add a little more to his Keep it subtle. Yeah, if you, if you all have any ideas on what I got, what kind of kid shapes I can make, definitely let me know.
Oh uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree. Uh, that that's really why I started doing this. I talked about it on the video I did with Coin Dynamics, and actually I talk about it with just about everybody. Um, in terms of, he said the world needs more cartoons with characters of color and ethnicity, uh, and that's really what kind of solidified uh, me doing this was I want to see into the spider verse uh, i've been following you know i've been i've been doing the cartoon stuff for probably about two years now uh but when i when i saw the movie i you know i heard a lot of re great reviews about it when i saw the movie it, it literally blew me away and the character uh miles morales and his family just just the whole concept of having uh and it's not even like he was the first black superhero i mean you had black panther this last year as well but it was just so awesome because it had, you know, relevant, you know, cultural dialogue that, that you're familiar with. And when I saw it, I was like, man, this movie's awesome. And then I took my kids to see it. And again, the re reaction that they had to it made me realize that this is something that I wanted to do. Uh, so so that's that's really what started kicking it into high gear for me in terms of pursuing illustration. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to do tech to some degree, uh, maybe even incorporate it into tech, uh, but that's really what set me over the top when I saw that. Uh, and even from the standpoint of, yeah, I lost my train of thought, uh, of work, it just really, yeah, Oh, wow, I didn't even realize that, that it was first Oscar for a black director for an animated film. Uh, but yeah, when I, when I saw that, man, it just like, just, it, it let me know that this is the path that I need to go on with my life. Uh, if I'm not doing some form of art and also doing it from a cultural perspective, then I think I'd be wasting my time on this earth personally. Uh, and that's not to say I won't be doing other stuff. I have a ton of interest. But art is definitely, and just representation is definitely at the top of my list. So that's why I talk about the subject matter that I talk about quite often. Uh, I talk about race all the time. So I study it. Uh, just so I'm not just jumping to conclusions on stuff. But anyway, just just going to those relevant, you know, things that affect our kids affect us affects you know the way people deal with us just all of those things i understand you know we talk about on two shot guys how you know powerful media is it can be used for good or bad and and my choice is to figure out ways to utilize it for good so yeah that's my little philosophical reason of why i do art and the kind of art i do uh it just it just resonates with me when i was a, when i was younger uh, I used to be really heavy into comic books, but again, after which is odd, after I, I fell in love with photorealism, cartoons was the next phase of my love for art. And ever since I've been just, I've been dabbling with it off and on, but it's just really for me. Just made that kind of impact that's necessary. That's why when I take on like portraits, things like that, I, I ask them, I'm like, if you don't like cartoons, then I'm not your guy. I can send you to somebody that'll do something else. I can do that stuff. I just don't want to. Because my focus is to get better at this and improve on this, improve on character design, and make relevant stuff. Oh, thanks, Hillary. I appreciate it. But yeah, so this is this will actually be the first of many of these things because I, I I put in whoops, so I have the eraser selected. So, but I put in I put in hours every day working on this stuff, and, and this right now is just the scribble stuff. If I'm working on a piece, it'll usually take me about uh, depending on the complexity. I'll probably start working on more complex pieces, uh, but it's difficult to do that and and post regularly. On uh, social media, so if you noticed the uh, past couple of days, I've been posting uh, like more sketches, like in my stories, uh, just to keep a presence going. 
but I will be focused more on uh, more on uh, like more detailed larger images uh, as time goes on just so I can get that practice in um, but you'll see a lot of that stuff more in ga more so in game art is there a skinny lanky kid uh, yeah not the main character uh, I'll, I'll probably make him thin here I'll show you some of the other characters real quick if I can get to them without seeing too much See. Yeah, I got so many different. different okay. So here, here are some of the original characters. I wasn't sure if I was gonna show these or not, but oops. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. So this, this is. I'm going through trying to figure out where he was. Yeah, so this was one of like one of the uh, original here. designs I did. Uh, and again, I had these uh, right here. Four different um, and again, I had these different four different, different images because I was gonna do uh, different not necessarily lanky, but you can tell it's thin. Uh, not necessarily lanky, but you can tell it's thin. But I just did the proportions, the proportions are a lot different than the other characters I just did. Yeah, and so uh, that, that's kind of why I was designing. Yeah, it that way. and so uh, that's that kind of why I was designing it that way. I wanted to for bullying. I wanted to because I wanted to dive into that. I was going to do it a little bit differently. You know, I wasn't going to have any necessarily different balance in it, but of course, the scenario, you know, different kids in the scenario, and that kind of how I would do that. But anyway, it's a really big thing about how I would do that. But anyway, this is one of the original designs. I may go back to it, and then I kind of streamlined it. I may go back to it, and then I kind of streamlined it to look more like, uh, I'll show you the family lineup. I think I have a family lineup. I'll show you the family lineup. I think I have a family lineup. Nope. Nope. Group. Nope. 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 Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I had an actual family lineup, and I don't even remember where that is. Nope. 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 Oh, you know what? Maybe it's not even in that one. Uh, 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 yeah, here's the family lineup. So this has this, these are his friends. Uh this is his family, his mom, his dad, his sister, uh one of his friends. And I thought about making the one kid a bully, but I was like, nah, maybe not. Oh, the sound is distorted. Yeah, sorry about that. Again, I'm using uh, Mob Crush, or I think that's what it's called, to stream. So, but anyway, this is what the, the lineup as of right now looks like. I'll probably tweak it just to add more shape variation in it. Um, but this is... This is where my thoughts were initially with the characters. I still like them. I like some of the shapes, but again, just exploring uh, different aspects of how it will look. So anyway, I'll go back to what I was doing. So as this is the Q story. Like I said, his name was Q. Q uh, was like, it was originally in my mind when I first made it. And I posted like artwork years ago. Uh, called Quentin's Got a Calling, but over time I've been rethinking it, rethinking how it is. And when I first came up with the story, I didn't even have kids. So so my idea around the storyline has changed quite a bit since then. Um, anyway, th those were the, the lineup and how it looked. Um, thinking about making it a little more loose, like, like this guy, uh, real loose drawing. Uh, we'll see, though. But anyway, it's still sketching away. And also the hard part for me is keeping in mind 
the type stuff that I like different art styles. So it, that that always makes me change stuff. Yeah, I, it's funny that you mentioned that, uh, Lau, in terms of having a character with a disability or wheelchair. Uh, I've definitely been thinking about that. Um, uh, when the, I, I've actually done some carts, some designs of some characters that that are that have disabilities, um, but I haven't really pursued them as of yet. Um, some of the ideas that I've that I've scribbled down uh, have that in mind. I know. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. I think it's it's, it's not Leonard. His last name is Leonard. Uh, he has like a whole superhero team. Uh, they have different uh, disabilities, for lack of a better term. And so he's been doing that uh, for quite some time. And I like I like where his characters are going and the kinds of things that they can do. Um, but I, I've been rethinking my own version of what that would be and how that would be utilized. And and really for me is just figuring out the storyline and how to how to utilize it to its, its fullest potential, if that makes sense. So, but to answer your question in short, yeah, I have. So anyway, let me get back to my sketching here. And uh, this, this will be more of a longer character. But I want them to be short, so that's why all the body have been got an extremely large head. like a lighthearted kid uh, that sees the positivity in pretty much everything. So that's why all those eyebrows are pretty much uplifted, you know, just to show like a light. He, he's really not tense, so his eyebrows are pretty loose. And what's funny to me is that for some reason of all the things that I draw and procreate or on my iPad, the hardest thing for me to draw is eyes. And they're like the simplest shapes ever. But it's the hardest thing for me to draw on pencil and paper, I'm fine. But for some reason, it just doesn't, my mind doesn't work well with the concept of eyes digitally. I don't know why. This is not just a new issue either. And I'll probably do a few more sketches of this and then I'll probably do my my IG post for the day. Start working on that. Yeah. See, I'm streaming on YouTube as well, but I don't even know if anybody's making any comments on it. I doubt it because I don't have any followers on YouTube. Like I said, I a little larger. Make them more vertical. You can see I got like a chalky style brush. Whoops. Let me do that. Uh, this is an oval sketch brush. I want the chalky look. Just to add a difference.
strings in the pocket. But yeah, again, I just go through these ideas quite a bit. So I'll try to keep talking because sometimes I'll just be thinking about what I want them to look like. And so I'll just quit talking and start sketching. So, so work with me, bear with me rather. <laughs> yeah, that's about true. I remember Wally, it, that dude had a beard when, when we were 12. Like, he had a full beard. I got you. Sometimes I try to work on keeping the drawing loose as well. Even though I know his hand should be a little bigger. I give him the four fingers. There's the five fingers of death. Do the cartoon four fingers. Um, yeah. It, it is your bearded character. I'll, I'll do... I'll give him a baby face. Baby face proportions, rather. Baby face with a beard. This is the one kid that hit puberty before everybody else. I'll give him the bling. He's still a kid, but his priorities are a little different. <laughs> a nice blend on the fade. switch up my style is completely different in a sec so I'll do some cartoon like these style and sometimes I go into more detail and I'll do more random things um, sitting like a kid in red glasses are my crew in this high school in this school <laughs> take care uh, take care Hillary yeah so just just really just switching some stuff up um, I try not to get locked in on one thing, even though I try to practice similar things as much as possible, just so I can get better at it. And this is my standard template for these type faces. I scribble them out. Okay. 
Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch the eyes up just a bit. This is looking kind of mean. and the other ones. Blocks. So this is the first kid I made with a neck. Yeah, also with this, uh, as opposed to the other sketches I showed, just not thinking as much about the replication side of it, because sometimes if I start thinking about the process of making it too much, then it'll lend, lend it my design, and I'll keep it as simple, I'll keep it as simple as possible, just, in, just so I can draw it over and over, uh, but just trying to really get out of that habit. Uh, of course, you need to think about production. Um, but you also just need to be free in terms of the character design process. So, so that's actually what my purpose of today was, was really just thinking more about that process more so than the, how it's going to be designed later. details don't look like much uh, but it gives me an idea for when I come back later and work on it some more I mean, I'll jump all over the place with designs yeah I think it's pretty good little variation when trying to make anybody any any two characters look the same uh, there are a lot of similarities between them um, but what I would normally do is just go through and pick a style shape. Like I kind of like the, the the proportions on this guy. Uh, this kid I could use later, not necessarily for this story. Um, this kid is more like your cartoon network style in terms of shape. Uh, this guy was uh, just starting off. Just getting the, the idea out. This guy, I, I like certain aspects of him. He, he may be a fill-in character, but I wouldn't make him a main character. Um, this kid, definitely a character. Um, it, this kid actually has potential. 
it's way different than I initially thought uh, the character should look like uh, if you saw the other sketches. But he has potential to be a main character. Uh, we'll see. Not necessarily for this story. Uh, this kid right here. Um, the style, more so than anything else. It was a comical face. Uh, this guy was warm up. So I don't see him in anything. Um, this kid as well. Uh, background character, maybe. This kid. Uh, background character maybe likewise for him so again just really just looking at it and seeing what I like about it uh, what I don't and and probably just more ideation to come just really thinking about that so my next thing I'm going to work on is my post for the day so I may just create a whole nother um image and so I procreate and just create a new uh, typically do a square for social media but uh, I'm actually going to go back and create screen size and I'm doing this specifically because I'm thinking about where else I would post this and so thinking about things like dribble or maybe behance um, but now I'm thinking about it uh, I may go back with the square because I won't post this one on dribble I'll post it on behance so I'll just go to my square here and right now one of the things I've been trying lately uh, is is really just focusing on silhouettes and then the drawing uh, just giving that a the attempt um, and just just going about it from there so right now what I'll do is just I'll go look online for some some streetwear images because like I said I don't necessarily wear anything other than t-shirts and shorts so I'll just scan the internet um, type in streetwear in Google and just go look for some potential images sometimes you can find good images on uh, Instagram but I, I hate the Instagram search personally because the tags aren't necessarily everything's not tagged right or the way I need it to be tagged so sometimes I look for streetwear images in other countries um, but one thing I can do right now before I even do any of that is I can think about the kind of poses I'd like and so what I'll do is just like some quick thumbs and look at my thumbs. So this is how I'll just start off with my silhouettes. And I'll clean these up. Then I I tend to, to draw a lot of people with hands in pockets and I gotta get beyond that and then what I'll do with the, the silhouettes with these thumbnails is I'll create the thumbnails get the, the body shapes that I like down and then maybe you can add detail with the eraser if you need to. Uh, just really focusing on shape language and so I need to figure out if I'll draw a guy or a girl that I don't know yet. I've been drawing dudes lately, so I may draw a female. Yeah, I think I know why. I, I tend to draw people with their hands in their pocket because if you look at the street fashion, everybody has a hand in the pocket somehow. And again, all I'm doing right now is shape language, so it's not really meant to look like much beyond that. 
uh, at least not for me. Uh, other people who go into more detail, they may draw it lighter so they can stack the layers of the character, like the, the different shading, as opposed to having a, a, a straight opaque silhouette. So it's different for different people. Post this in the two shy guys group. So yeah, maybe maybe I'll come up with an action pose and then put the street clothes on them. Something a little different as opposed to finding the pose from a uh, somebody. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, for me, this is not an exact science, so to speak. I'm just really just through a series of these uh, to come up with an idea or concept. Another thing I didn't think about before I got on the live stream is I'd get hungry. I don't think about that. So we'll see how long I go. Right now I'm still sketching uh, random poses I'm, I'm seeing online, and like you, you want to know why everybody has a hand in the pocket? It's because everybody online does. I think it's because people don't know how to position their hands when when they're posing sometimes. So just to get rid of the awkward feeling, they put their hands in their pocket. So a lot of people tend to have their hands in their pocket. Also, doing the silhouettes, it just helps you think about space as well and, and how you want to have everything in space, especially uh, if you have multiple characters that you're working on, it, it helps just to think about the, making sure there's a difference between the characters and the way they look in terms of shape language. Plus, in terms of building a character out, it's a whole lot easier erasing solids than it is line work. Because you got to replenish the line work. And not to say that you won't have to, but it just makes it a lot quicker. So, I'd work on this pose. If, if I go with this pose, I'd, I'd clean it up. Uh, but I don't do right now. Again, all of this stuff for me, which which is another another thing that's pretty difficult for me. I'm so used to churning out work that it's sometimes difficult for me to just get settled on one thing uh, or get settled on something that's going to take a while. Um, so, so that's, that's another reason why I practice so much. So maybe if I increase my skill, then I can keep the same speed with better detail. So that's that's my theory anyway. I think I may have to pose a lot. And then also I just think about 
Sometimes I think about style, like the style I want to make a particular character. I like so, like I said, I like so many different styles that sometimes I have to think about that ahead of time. Uh, else, and that also dictate my proportions, the kind of proportions I want. And then, then also going back to the study of this stuff, like so if I go more realistic, then there's certain things that, that you know that, that you know you have to think about in terms of proportion, um, like the size of the hand is typically the size of your face. So, and of course, like you know, there there are always exaggerations. Uh, hold on one sec. See if, if I'll get knocked off. For, Design a beautiful online store fast. For playing some music. But typically I have some something I'm usually watching documentaries or, or something when I draw. Because I'm usually doing it so long. Um so we can get some background music playing. Before they image. I kind of like what she's wearing. Uh, female online. Uh, of course, I'm going to stylize it a bit. Um, it's, I like it because it's different than some of the stuff I normally draw. There's like kind of an African look about her. So sometimes I'm usually hesitant to draw women because one, I didn't spend a lot of time drawing them growing up. I was always drawing superheroes and also like dudes you can typically, I don't know, they don't have to be as pretty, I'll put it that way. So yeah, I think I may go with this one just to settle. And so what I do from this point, once I've decided on something, I'll go ahead and single it out. And I'll give it its own layer. Yeah, let me 
zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. Now you total credit to the artist. I mean to the photographer on this particular one. This photographer, his name is Osborne Macaria. Actually, I saw him. A friend posted uh, his work. He's working with uh, somebody I know on a project. And so I just was scrolling through his portfolio. I saw this lady. It's actually an old image. So, but, and and what I what I usually do is instead of like going completely with an image, I'll find an image I like, and then I'll look at other images and I'll embellish it and add new stuff to it. Because uh, again, my goal is not to copy what's there. Is to get ideas and create original content based off the ideas that are generated. So that's this this what I'm doing right here. Uh, when I when I go make images from online, and actually this particular image, um, the proportions will change quite dramatically. Now I think now that I look at it when it's zoomed in, because I want to make the proportions a little more full. Uh, but this is enough to give me an idea of where I want to go. So what I'll do is drop the opacity and go from there. And I'll export probably this this particular image once I'm done uh, the process video. And again, this is what I'll do in terms of I'll go to canvas. I um, usually turn my drawing guide on. Um, I'll do symmetry. I'm not going to draw draw it symmetrically, but for me, having this line in the middle, you can see how crooked this drawing is. Having that line in the middle for me allows me to keep the proportions or keep the drawing from skewing and so I'll move it back and so I'll do I'll do that just to have that guide there uh, so I don't get off course because sometimes <coughs> excuse me now drawings will skew based on how I'm sitting or whatever because the reason I have to stream from my screen as opposed to from my phone when I do drawings is because I move my iPad around like a piece of paper. And so it's never in one location. So, yeah. Anyway, for those of you that are still watching, thank you for checking out my process. So, right now, all I'm doing is, is really just mapping it in. Um, I should probably actually use the, and I may do it on cleanup, use the drawing assist. And what the drawing assist does, like in the way that I have it right now, it allows me to draw one side of the character. And I can uh, draw one side and it'll map it and mirror it on the other side. So it definitely comes in handy. For sure. So... Anyway, just really thinking about the proportions of her upper body here. And she's kind of not symmetrical, so it'll make it a little hard to do the drawing assist. But I'm just thinking about overall shape. And in here, when I'm, when I'm thinking about her shape in particular, I'm just really trying to get the essence down of her underlying body. So her hips are, well, they're really not swiveled that much, uh, but I may make them that way. And again, I'm just... I'm really drawing my own proportions here and 
on my limited knowledge of anatomy. Um, and I want to make her legs just a little bit longer. And for me, sometimes this is the harder part is really figuring out it is not the one side is making the other side match so and then also figuring out how I want her feet to point in the, in the one image reference I'm looking at in terms of the body position her feet are pointed forward it just didn't look right to me and sometimes if something doesn't look right in an image like the actual picture then it is is more difficult for me to draw it um, to draw that angle so I'll, I'll make her feet go slightly to the side yeah I think I like that that look right there I want to make sure she has some some curvature here and normally I don't draw full body but I've been just practicing full body just because uh, because I normally don't draw it so in order to get better at something you gotta stretch yourself so that's kind of what a lot of these, these postings are um, I've said it many a time but sometimes a lot of the stuff I post I don't necessarily like I just do it just to get in the habit of posting and getting in the habit of, of critique being critiqued or putting myself out there to be critiqued And then drawing live actually just keeps me accountable. So okay, I, I like I like the shape so far. Let me share this. Just trying to see where I am. Just working on the shapes. Getting my shapes down. Oops. You can always have to recalibrate the actual lengths here. So typically, I believe the, the arms are typically the length of the torso without the head and the legs are typically the length of the torso with the head. Um, kind of pushing the exaggeration a bit. And so right now, I'm just thinking about the hands here and their placement, not necessarily Yeah. 
there we go. And then I'll adjust back to that. Just the shape back to that. There we go. Make sure I keep my proportions in terms of arm length similar. See how long my stream has been going. So in Procreate, you can always check your canvas, look at canvas information. Uh, okay, it's 7:32, so I've been going about 20 minutes, 23 minutes, maybe a little longer. I'm not sure just yet. Create another layer, then I'll dim it out, and then this is where I'll start working on the design in terms of the clothing, uh, what, what this woman's wearing, and further refine the body shape. So she's wearing a, a romper, uh, I think that's what, no, actually, she's not. She's wearing a uh, a different layer uh, like that shirt and shorts they're just the same color in the image I'm looking at so I'll start with that and then I'll add a little more to it because again my goal is not to replicate what's there but to create some ideas based off of what's given Like it, uh, strong black woman. Uh, put some jewelry on. Even though her image doesn't puff out, I always like that kind of look right there. So she has this like a three strap belt on. Flares, but I'm thinking about extending it just a little. Making it almost like a dress. Sure. 
scribbling in the details. And the details to our, our gear. Still not sure how I want to render this just yet. So you know, once I usually get the outer layer, I still got more stuff to add though. I'll just add a little, it's a good idea. Typically when I do this stuff, I gotta, I do this just to start really figuring out how I wanna, like where the details are. And then I may do another pass just to get it, the details a little tighter. Cause I still don't know how I'm gonna render it. Save that. Save that image just so I keep track of where I am. And also, if I post it, sometimes I like to post the uh, like to post the process images as well as the video.
essentially just painting in with a hand, I want the hand to be just really focusing on detail, you know it doesn't look like much right now, this just helps me, uh, especially when it's time to render, uh, just give it a sh hand shape. to really scribble in the details because then it's like I can shape everything after the fact. Sometimes hands can be a book of error. Obi. Oops, I'm gonna do that. And I'm just blacking out the face shape. The face is where I would normally do the symmetry part of it. Just to make sure everything's lining up how it's supposed to. symmetry you can see is slightly you see that blue line my symmetry is slightly off this I'm thinking if I need to simplify it anymore sometimes I like to keep my lines simple and this may be a little too much in some areas because I'm not going for a comic book look I'm not going for a photorealism look I'm going somewhere in between comic book and cartoon and sometimes it's hard to walk those Type rope of that.
I'm doing is just banging out the, the outline for this. I'm still not sure about the feet. Uh, they seem a little too blocky to me. I want more smooth lines. create a, a group and then I'll duplicate that group and flatten it so that way I can just lighten it as such It's not her feet have to be big enough to support her base. But I don't know. I'm just, just really, really thinking about evaluating these feet and the way they come out.
focusing on one side of the illustration. So I'll just use the symmetrical tool. Since this face is pretty symmetrical based on the pose, 